Welcome back to Through the Ringer. We're here with Cousin Sal, and we're having a lot of fun talking all types of topics. We already played my favorite game, and now we got to look uh-huh. ahead to the week ahead in the NFL. We're going to start with Thursday Night Football. Line look ahead here. we got the Commanders taking on the Eagles. NFC East Showdown. Eagles minus 3.5 in this game. The total is 48.5. Sal, how fired up for you are you for this uh, NFC East Showdown? I know these are two uh, teams that are, you know, obviously the enemy, but it uh, should be yeah. a fun game. Yeah, so like zero? Can I say zero? <laughs> yeah, that's know. good. That's no, it's good a answer. good game. I like when Al gets a good game. He got a good one in Baltimore, Cincinnati. He has a nice one here. Uh, he has the Steelers coming up, I think, in a couple weeks or something. Mm-hmm. So this is decent. Um, I picked this line exactly on Guess the Lines um, Sunday night with Simmons, which I think uh, earns me the right to get a free <laughs> free spin on his yacht whenever I want, right. which is good. Um, but I will say it's tough because I want to say the Eagles will take complete control of this division with a win, but we saw them lose five out of six towards the end. So they could collapse. They have that in them for sure. But either way, I'm going to say minus 240 for them to win the division is a good number here. I expect the Eagles to take care of business there. They've yeah. got also, if you want a, a total here, they've gone over in seven of the last nine home games. I like the over. I like them at home. I do feel like there is a little bit of tinge of like the commanders losing to the Steelers. Maybe there is a bounce back factor uh, yep. with this team where there's the emotional hangover of that loss. They come out in a short week and get a big win. So something to keep an eye on. But you also like a player prop in this one, Sal. Saquon, right? That's what, you, that's what you're going with? I do. Saquon Barkley over, it was 12 and a half, went to 13 and a half receiving yards minus 114 he's done this in six of the last seven games at home he averages 25 a game over that stretch they work him into that offense however they can right Jalen Hurts uh Barkley averages three targets per game which should put him over the 12 and a half if he catch two of them on the commie side Jalen Warren went for 29 yards receiving the Steelers running back so this is doable I could see them losing him out there uh lose track of the tailback jumping out on the bubble screen. Let's go Saquon over 13 and a half receiving yards. Yeah, I see it. The Saquon safety valve, uh, you Mm -hmm. know, you're open here. Just give me 12 yards, and maybe that happens a couple times in this game. So I like that at the odds, minus 114. I'm going to go with first scoring play, Eagles field goal. I just, if I close my eyes and I look ahead at this game, I feel like it's a boring (laughs) drive, and, you know, you you feel like it's a chance. Maybe one big play, you know, to get him down into the red zone, and then, you know, it all kind of stalls out, and they kick a field goal. So I see Sirianni for three. That is pretty damn specific. Yeah. That's good. They're going to get the ball, and then they're going to go down and kick a field goal kick a field goal plus how many yards 10. how long is it going to be i think the field goal is going to be about 47 yards uh okay. you know what i mean and it's after a sack they they had a nice chip shot uh but it was a big oh. sack trying to get a big play and you know they're going to kick i the feel like you've yarder. seen this game you have too much information <laughs> on this frazier no, i already right. watched it yeah it's going to be a good one so <laughs> thursday night football tune in uh herb street al michaels the tie is looking good he's locked in he can see november football on the way so it's good times let's